I, before we get started, uh, Jesus. Uh, this is the collab. I'm going to do half of it. Um, there's a guy who was inspired by me to do other, uh, shitty pastas. He's going to do the other half because I decided to collab with him. That's how it's going to work. It's four in the morning. Cut me a break. Okay. Okay, I just want to start off by saying, uh, I don't know, the story's called The Thing? The story's called The Thing, and, um, it's by Derp Butt? It's by Derp Butt. It was summer. The air conditioner was set on the highest setting, and Kyla and I were asleep in her bed. It was 12.26 p.m. The house was empty. At 1.16 p.m., I awoke to find Kyla missing, and a note was left in her place that read, this progressed so quickly, I swear. First two sentences, first two sentences, shit already hit the fan. The note read, Dearest Izzy, smiley face. Had to put, had to put the parentheses in smiley face. Couldn't just add the emoticon in the story to make it seem, you know, better for the reader. Nope. I have to go to Carla's house to drop off some clothes. I'll be back shortly. Love. Parentheses. Heart. Parentheses. Kayla K. End quote. K. Carla was Kyla's mom's friend. I was friggin'. What? Kayla was Ki Carla was Kayla's mom's friend. All right, I'm gonna roll with it. I don't know that. I don't know. Confusing. I know. Well, yeah, no shit. If you're a writer in the story, you should probably, uh, not make stuff confusing, or at least make the main plot confusing. Put, like, a angels and demons, Da Vinci Code bullshit. Not just something stupid about relatives. Kayla was always borrowing clothes from her. Figures. I laughed to myself. Kyla loves Carla's clothes. Why do they have to make those names sound so, like, familiar. Kayla, Carla, I could slur that so easily. If I was actually legitly narrating this, I would throw a hissy fit. I get up and make my way to the bathroom, walking down the dimly lit hallway. Okay, why is it dimly lit? Are you in a house? Are you in a normal house? Do normal houses have dimly lit hallways? No, they have full-blown fucking big fiery light bulbs. Boom. I pass Kyla's dad's room then by her mom's room. They they don't share a bed. They don't. They don't? They, they sleep in different rooms? Isn't that kind of weird? I probably didn't notice before, but her dad's room was unnaturally dark. It was 1.20 p.m. The sun was bright out today, and her dad's room was close to pitch black. You know, in my room, I have something called a curtain. And it's a dark curtain, so it keeps a lot of stuff in. And, you know, that typically works in keeping a room dark. It could be perfectly natural. It's not unnaturally dark. It's it's just dark. Because of some, probably, of a curtain. I take no mind to it. I had to pee. I do my business, pulling back up my boxers. What, but, but boxers? I know some girls wear boxers, but, you know, it could catch you for a loop. Yeah, oh, oh, here we go. Parentheses. Yes, I'm the type of girl to wear boxers to bed. Okay. Okay. Hey, hey, that totally wasn't unnecessary, am I right? Could have just said I want to be. Called it good. No, you gotta be like, I want to be, I wear boxers. Yeah, I wear boxers. Deal with it. Making sure I flush. As my hand grasps the doorknob, I hear scratching sounds coming from the bathroom closet. What? What? All right, all right. Well, you, it could be anything by now. Is it the thing? Is it the it's the thing? It's the. Is it like the thing from that old horror book story, or is it the thing from the movie franchise? Is, is it a gremlin? I hope it's. If this story, if this story has gremlins. I don't know. I think it redeemed itself completely because gremlins are just the shit. He seems to like it. My heart stops. Kyla has hamsters. One probably got out. I open the closet door. Nothing. 
there are so many problems with this story. I've, have you realized that? Like, I think I've done more talking about how bad the story is than actually narrating. Okay, all right. Um, it's probably a ghost. Just a bunch of junk. I looked behind the hairdryer under a few towels and moved around her box of makeup. Weird, but whatever, I thought. I left the bathroom, stepping into the dining room. I walked over to our hamster cage and opened the metal hatch. I counted all five hamsters. No one's missing. I sigh. I picked up one of the babies, holding the soft ball up against my cheek. That's when I felt it. The feeling was a cold hand on my shoulder. It felt large, and the pressure it exerted on my being made me want to collapse on the floor. I was scared shitless. I couldn't move. I could barely breathe. I was paralyzed with fear. Jesus. You need to make up your mind. Luckily, I already used the bathroom. You did that. You pulled that card. Alright, alright, alright. No, I'm not mad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. Fucking bullshit! After a moment, I didn't feel the hand anymore. I shoved the hamster back in its cage, returning to Kyla's room. It was halfway down the hallway when I heard a noise from her mother's room. I stopped, peering inside the door. Her mother's TV was knocked off of its stand, and it was face down. It was on, making a static noise. A shelf was knocked over, pictures and broken glass scattered across the carpet floor. I froze up on her mother's dress mirror. I saw it. You, you had a spark there. You literally had a spark. Okay, I actually almost got lost in it for a second, all right? So it was beautiful how you described, um, you know, you saw the mother's room, the TV was on the ground, the static was on, there was broken stuff. That's eerie, that's suspenseful, that's beautiful. It's probably gonna be the only good part of the story. And then, and then, I saw it. <laughs> not mad. No, no, not mad at all. You saw it. You saw it. You not gonna say what it is? Are you not gonna? God dang it! Just ah. man. All right. So this is when my buddy takes over. Let's see what he has to say. Yeah. It was a tall white. Tall white what? Is it a tall white something? It's the, it's this tall white thing. It stood out from the pitch black darkness. It was ashen white, large dark eyes that glistened. Its shoulders were very broad. The limbs were stick-like. Its hands were large, almost touching the floor. Okay, is this Slender Man? Really? Is, is, is this Slender Man? Are you shitting me? This isn't Slender Man, okay? Yeah. This is not the Slender Man. Ugh! It was staring at me. It looked as though it didn't have a mouth, but I soon found that I was mistaken. It smiled at me. Black pus seeped from its mouth. Gross! It had thousands, millions of teeth. You're narrowing to Slenderman, okay? But it's the thing. The thing. Okay? It's the thing. The bottom jaw of the thing sunk all the way to the floor. How can it sink all the way to the floor? Is this a cartoon now, where all the mouths just kind of sink to the floor? Its eyes widened. It raised a finger up to its gaping mouth. As a sign to tell me to keep quiet, I fainted. When, when I woke up, I was on the couch in the living room. I slept again at Kyla's house. Okay, first you fainted, and then you woke up. And then you were on a, on the couch in the living room, and then you slept again at Kyla's house. Where are you at right now? Where are you at? You need to d tell us where you're at. Seriously. Ugh. Gross! Not explaining the accident in her mother's room, or the scratching in the bathroom, or the cold hand. While I lay in her bed awake, she lays beside me, sleeping. Her room was complete darkness. Well, duh, it's dark. You're gonna be sleeping, right? She's sleeping, it's dark. Don't complain. I could hear it. Or maybe it was my imagination. Hear what? what? What was the thing you were hearing? 
something creeping on you? Is it like paranormal activity where you just hear something and then you just get a jump scare? Ugh. Gross! I could hear the scratching coming once again from the bathroom closet. Louder, then closer. Again, getting louder. I pressed myself all the way against Kyla and shut my eyes. Go away. Just please go away. The noise got louder and closer, and then it stopped. Thank Jesus it stopped. I decided to open my eyes. I let them adjust to the darkness in the room. I looked around, and there was nothing. I was relieved. I called up close to Kyla, only to feel that she was stone cold. I turned to look at her. Only it wasn't her. Well, who the hell was it then? Who the fuck was it? Really? Was it that slender character again? The thing? How you prescribe it to, to be? Ugh. Stupid. So stupid, okay? So fucking stupid. I fucking hate this person, whoever wrote this. Ugh. So fucking stupid. Gross. Alright, this is the end of that amazingly bad pasta. I'd like to thank uh, Creepypasta Project for helping me out. You could check that son of a bitch out either on the screen or in the description. I'll probably have one of his videos popped up anyway. Uh, freaking, uh, there's this guy, K Mac, who freaking made posters with my persona on it. So if you ever want something to fap to, you could just buy that. That's also in the description. So, yeah, you could, yeah, you should, uh, totes. Uh, do that so you have fat material. You know what I'm saying? All right. What else? Friggin' next shitty pasta is either gonna be really short or really long. I haven't decided yet. It's either gonna be one after the other. But um, well, forewarning: since I'm getting requests up the asshole to do Supermarket Monster, that's gonna be a thing sometime soon. Um, and also, fucking dog. That dog. I don't know if you guys can hear the dog. It's like a block away. And it barks at nighttime. Drives me crazy. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm either gonna do Supermarket Monster or, or Sanic.exe next. Sanic.exe is as long as Sonic.exe, so that bitch is gonna take forever to put together. But it's gonna be worth it, it's gonna be a half hour of this fucking bullshit of me poorly making fun of creepypastas with the minute effects that I do. Alright, see you later. Fucking bullshit!